Hello everybody. Um, in this video today, I will show you how to create a new web application in SharePoint Server 2010. So we are now in uh, SharePoint 2010 Central Administration. Um, and you can see that under Application Management, we have Manage Web Application. So we're going to click on it. And I have here uh, two web applications that are created automatically when you install SharePoint Server 2010, okay? Um, in the ribbon, uh, everything is gray out, but it's because I have nothing selected there. So if I select uh, the SharePoint 80, you can see that everything is showing up now in the ribbon and you can manage loads of stuff um, for this web application, okay? So um, now let's create a new web application. So in the ribbon, we're going to go to new and then you will have a window uh, opening. So here, um, I'm going to leave the classic mode authentication, okay, for the demo purposes. I'm just going to make it simple, okay. Um, then uh, we're going to create a new IIS website. So we're going to give it a name in there. So I'm just going to put SharePoint demo web application. And then just uh, beside it, we have the port number. So it's going to be the port 19150. Now I could create a new web application with the port 80, but you see that I have one there already. So if I do it like this um, with the port 80, I will have to add a new host header. Okay. Uh, but it's a different port there, so I'm not going to need to add anything else. So after that, we have the port, which is uh, 19150. No need to put any host there. Um, on the path there, if I click on it and go at the end, you can see that I have the port at the end. We'll just leave it like this. Um, regarding the security configuration, you have uh, three options there. Um, so I'm not going to go into Kerberos uh, right now because you need uh, to configure something different as well if you choose this. So I will leave it to NTLM. Um, Allo Anonymous, so it's your choice, yes or no. I will leave it at no. Um, do we need to uh, use the SSL? Um, it's up to you. I will leave it at no uh, for the demo. Um, then for the public URL, um, so it's the name of your server and the port just after. So SPS 2010, that's my server's name and the port 19150. Um, then um, we have application pool. So either you create a new application pool, uh, which I'm going to do for this demo, but you can choose if you want to put this new web application on an existing application pool. So if I click on this, I will have the drop down menu there and you can see I have already some application pools there. So I have the default application pool in there and I have an application pool for my SharePoint AT as well. So we're going to create a new application pool. So I'm just going to leave it like this or oh no, I'm just going to put a name on it, um, SharePoint demo. Okay. And the port just after. Um, regarding the account, uh, I leave my SP farm to configure um, some stuff in the central administration, but it's up to you. You can change the account if you want, as long as it's registered in SharePoint and, uh, as a managed account. Um, that is my database server. Uh, that's the name of it. So SQL 2010. Um, regarding the name uh, for the database, I suggest that you change the GUID in there to be more recognizable in the SQL Server. So in SQL, we already have a WSS content, uh, which is for the SharePoint AT. So if I put this one, uh, at least I will know what it's for in SQL. Mm, I'm going to leave uh, the Windows authentication, not going to change this. Um, if you have a failover database server, you can put it there, but I don't have any, so I'll leave it blank. And here we have um, 
all the service application that we can connect with this new web application. Okay, so if I leave it at default, every service application will be connected to this new web application. But if you want, you can choose um, a custom one. And if you choose the custom, everything uh, is going to be able to be ticked. Okay, so you choose whatever you want in there. But I will just leave that as default. And then at the end, you can choose if you want to enable uh, the CEP, but I will just leave it at no. And then click OK. And once this is finished there, uh, we will see the new web application uh, created uh, with the others. After a few minutes, uh, we have this pop up there um, saying that the application has been created. Uh, we'll click on OK. And now we can see that the web application has been created in there. And so you can start uh, managing this web application by creating site collections or do whatever you want uh, with it. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you, were, um, uh, you liked it. Uh, don't forget, uh, you can please put your comments if you need anything and I will try to answer uh, as soon as I can. Okay, bye-bye guys.